Oh, this is something else I picked up at J. Crew. Isn't that cute? Little um, note cards. It says kiss, kiss. And the little boxes that you check say cheek, forehead, hand, air, lips. And it was $2.99. I thought that was so cute. Okay. Um, now, I had back to Mac this week. I had, and I, I didn't think about that until after I did it, that you guys might have, like in my empties, might have liked to see what I traded in. But it was like three Fix Plus bottles a couple of fling um, brow pencils, um, some old, old lipsticks that I wasn't using. I think it was a couple of, um, I don't even know what it was, and um, lash cases. So I had enough for two lipsticks. So I got these two, and the one I am wearing today is this one, and it's a cream sheen, and it's called Pure Zen. And it's beautiful. I couldn't believe that I didn't already have it. So, of course, it's a peachy nude. Sorry, I just knocked up Chanel and she got fuzz on me. So, today I have it on with Bronzel, which is a darker liner. So, it doesn't have to, you know, you can make it more nude. There it is. Really pretty and peachy. Like a light peach. Real pretty. Glad I got that one. And then I got this one. I had just heard, um, I think Gina told me I had to have this one. Sorry, my face is still itching. And it is a matte, and it's called Please Me. And it's just a pinky color. I put it on when I first got in the car, and I wasn't just crazy about it, but maybe with a different liner or um, a lip gloss or something underneath, I would like it. And then this one, Michael, the girl working at the counter, she's a beautiful girl. I've shown you a picture of her before. But... Um, she has, we have kind of the same coloring. She has brown eyes. And she had this on, which is very minimal makeup. And at first, I asked her what it was. I looked at it and I said, oh, that's too bright for me. And she said, you think? I think it would look good on you. So I ended up getting it. It is one of the mineralized um, lipsticks. And it is it's called, very small, um, as you can imagine. It's called Lady at Play. And it is very bright. It's like an orangey pink color but I love it I wore, I wore it, it out yesterday with my parents and stuff because my mom and dad like it when I wear color on my lips but I just because it's the mineralized it's a little bit lighter here let me swatch it for you but it's just a really see how pretty that is it's just I really really liked it and um what I did is I put it on with no liner at all I put it on with a lip brush so I could really get you know my full shape of my lips and then I blotted it, and it's just really, really pretty. So I recommend that if you want a good summer color. And I think it would look good with a just an all black outfit and just lashes with just something really like um, Bobby Brown, naked in the crease. Just a real minimal, minimal look. It's just real pretty. And then I got these cream sheen glasses because I wanted some more. I've enjoyed wearing those lip stains with a cream sheen over them. Okay, I'm gonna have to just see what's on my face here. Okay, there it is. It's a little teeny fuzzy. Okay, so um, one of you had told me your favorite lip combo was a MAC lipstick with D Light over it. And I don't know if I'll be able to find it, so if you're listening now, will you please tell me that lip combination again? Um, I remember it sounded good, and I had been told before that D-Light was a good color. And it is. It's a beautiful, just nudie color. I really think I'll like it. I think it's a good, just everyday color. So that is one that I got. And I just love these. They're so pretty. They make your lips look so um, juicy, and but just real smooth. And then I got um, this one that um, my friend Amy from the Mac Counter said she was wearing over that um, Revlon stain and it's double dare and so it's a little bit darker but these are sheer very sheer and I think that's a beautiful color and um, then they had this one at this was another day they had this one at um, the Mac counter it was a limited edition and the first day I saw Michael she had this on and I bought the last one and it is a new it's called Green Calypso Sheen. Beat and it's kind of similar to Boy Bait but not as pink. It's more nude and it's beautiful. It is beautiful, beautiful. You would love it. So if it's not sold out, you should get it. And okay, then I went back to, like I told you in my video, I went back to Ulta and bought backups of that other lip combo. And I went ahead and got the eye palette that went with those powerful nude collection. 
because I do like Bare Mineral Shadows and this nude palette was a little different. It's not like they're cool nudes and I've used them, gosh, probably three times. They're very pigmented and very pretty. I don't regret getting it. But um, this color I thought was a really, they're just unique colors. They're almost, if you like khaki type colors, like khaki green and khaki tan, you know, the more olive undertones. And then there's a good brown and some good cream colors. And I'm using it today and my advice would be, and what I did is I put a warm color underneath it. I used an Urban Decay single color and I'll put it down in what I'm wearing. I put that on first and then I go in with these colors and that way it's not too cool for me. I have a little bit of warmth on my lids before I used it. And I just, I've really liked it. I don't regret it. <laughs> it's got a great mirror too. Like if you use your mirror to put on your makeup, it um, has a good mirror. Okay, and then when I was getting that, um, I Kelly, one of the girls at Ulta, had on a pink lipstick, and that's not normally what she wears. And I said, your lips look so pretty. And she said, well, I went lighter with my hair, so I thought I would wear this. And it was just a beautiful pink. And it is Smashbox um, Pretty Social. And I knew I liked these lipsticks because I like Primrose is one of the ones I like. But it is a beautiful light pink. It's kind of like a... A nudie it's not too bubblegummy looking um, and I think I have I think I did a picture wearing this too for Instagram and didn't do it cause this was last weekend it's really pretty and glossy so if you like this formula this is really pretty and I think that is it for makeup yes so I'm just going to show you um, my outfit of the day and some clothes my I'll favorite right thing that I got okay here's the shirt that I got and it's oh god I saved the tag it was Regularly 45, marked down to 29, and then I got an extra 40% off. And the main thing I like about it is um, it's like one of those slub, not slub, but it has like that texture in the material. It's very thin, so you definitely have to wear a nude bra, or I would just go for it and wear a pink or a black bra if you wanted it to show through. And it says, um, I think it says a more. And uh, so I got this, and then this dress is just gorgeous. It's a um, it's a heavy knit and it's stretchy and it has a nice, you know, zip visible zipper up the back and it's very um, fitted but yet flared. So it's fitted through here and then it flares out and not real flared, just a little bit and it goes right to the knee. It has a nice little um, neckline and I love it. It has good seams. See the seam going up here? And it was, I got an eight. It was on sale for $79, and then I got it for 40% off of that. So, um, really a good deal. They had some pretty dresses. This is the only one that most of them were sold out. I'm sorry, I still have, must have a cat hair or something on my face. But um, most of my size was sold out. I can wear a 6, except for the chest area sometimes is tight. And then if that's tight, then it makes the rest of it ride up. It just doesn't sit well on my body so um you know you this is one of those things i got yesterday it. i took the other dresses back that didn't fit me and they actually had a really good um like junior section for brooke she got a really pretty skirt like a um, tan nude color chiffon like double layered skirt that will look good with a lot of different things and then she got a pair of shorts too that she liked but i noticed they just had a good section and then um of course i hit their sale stuff and i got this uh, pencil skirt it's high-waisted and as you can see it even has a place for a belt and it's that chartreuse color that I love and it's Gianni Beanie and um, I got it for $34.65 I did look and you can still get this online so I'll try to put the link down below but look it has pockets too I love it it fits really well I um, actually tried these on when I was there because I had a maxi dress on and it was easy to do so um, love that it's lined it's just perfect so love that and then this you know I was kind of into the whole Mad Men style and this just kind of reminded me of um, I don't know it's got that to me it's got that vintagey look that village um, I had a fabric when I used to make handbags that had a seam like this um, and I loved it I used to use it all the time and I just love this and this is a nice dress um, fitted but and it cuts down but not crazy low um and this is on the website too it's antonio milani which is a really good brand and it was on sale 
Um, it was originally, gosh, I don't even know. Looks like 159 and I got it for 55 But just a really nice dress. Just to the knee, a good flare, good shape, the little cap sleeves. And you could wear it with a colored shoe or you could wear it with a nude. Um, just could go so many different directions and you could put a blazer on over it. Um, I just love it. I just think it's so cool and it just reminds me, I think it reminds me of when he went to Florida. I think that's probably what it reminds me of. So, um, got those two things and I'm going to go ahead and, these bags just creep me out so I'm going to throw those away. But, um, so I'll be right back with my outfit of the day and let you find so the today I'm right wearing back. that t-shirt that I got from J. Crew, and I also wanted to tell you, I don't know if you can see that, I just love this, um, fabric. I hope you can see it. But um, I also want to tell you this is a small so they run kind of big because um, I typically wear a medium in t-shirts. But um, and then I have on these um, boyfriend jeans. These are the sexy boyfriend jeans from The Gap and they're actually I like them better than any of the high-end boyfriend jeans I've gotten. Um, and they're on sale now. I think they're on sale gosh for $28. These, these are the ones but, um, that are kind of um, worn in and then I have on these are some of my favorite just kind of casual fun shoes. They're Jessica Simpson um, wedges. I got them a couple years ago and I love them. They're comfortable and with the um, the little stripes it makes them more casual. You can see the little stripes on the heel and, but I love um, them. Hair crazy. Accessories I just put on these little simple CZs that I've been wearing because I wanted to just go simple with this and this thank you again Jennifer I love this necklace I love it I just couldn't love it more and then I've got on these little Sheila Fajal bangles I've got a whole big shipment of Sheila Fajal coming she sent it from California last week regular UPS so by the time it makes it to North Carolina I'm expecting it maybe no, she sent it. Did she send it UPS or FedEx? I can't remember, but she sent it the slower way. So I should get it any day. And she said that it was um, full of um, like bangles and more cuffs. And you know what? I want to show you one thing that I felt like I had to show you instead of just I showing you I want to show you some new earrings that I got that were on back order. And she said were real good sellers. And I just got them in. And I felt like I needed to show you a comparison for you to get it. Okay, here's the... Um, original hoops you guys know the size of those which i love and then here are the ones i showed you the super thin hoops which um hoops are in nina garcia's book and hoops will always that is definitely a classic and no matter which direction i'm dressing i can always wear hoops and it says the um larger and the thinner the sexier and then and more casual and then it said the smaller and the thicker, the more conservative and the more like work appropriate. So anyway, so that should be very sexy. <laughs> but these are the new ones I got. So they're not the super thin, but they're kind of thin. And um, let's see, let's compare the size. But I haven't even put them on my website yet, but I will. Um, of course, I'm saving a pair for myself. Um, and I'll try to put the price down here. I don't even know what it is yet. I have to look it up. But... Um, let me go get my So gold. here we'll is see. the super thin. So these are about the same size, I would say. And then here is the regular. So you will be able to tell the difference. So this is a really neat size. I think we would love that. So I'm going to add these. I just think they were neat and it was something I just wanted to show you so you could see. Um, matter of fact, I might take a um, picture of this right now to put on my website. So anyway, I hope you can tell I get excited about all this stuff. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July. And, and I think Canada Day was um, this week too. So have a great weekend and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.